Boost in London yes. during the EU Year of Air. Thanks, uh, thanks, Jenny. Well, uh, there are a, a lot of things that uh, clearly we are doing, particularly to address what's happening in in Putney High Street. Uh, you'll be familiar with the the, the the Les Phase Three, the taxi age limits, the uh, the retrofitting that's going on for uh, homes in London uh, to reduce knocks, particularly in Putney High Street, which you've asked me about. I want to. Uh, assure you that there are uh, very ambitious programs to reduce the pollution in what is effectively a, 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 a bit of a gully uh, for poor air quality. And by the summer of, of this year, 85% of the buses that go through Putney, Putney High Street will meet Euro 4 standards. That's up from 20% at the beginning of last year. So 85% of the buses will meet Euro 4 standards. And uh, we are announcing a, uh, a special uh, dispensate a special uh, uh, sum, the Mayor's Air Quality Fund, uh, 20 million quid to help uh, boroughs uh, to tackle uh, particular, particular problems such as uh, those experienced by Putney High Street. Uh, I should say that Putney, although Putney does have uh, particularly high levels of, of, of NOx um, and, uh, and, and diesel fumes, uh, I'm afraid it, it, it is not alone. Uh, in London, there are other areas that, uh, that suffer from uh, poor air, air quality in a similar way, and we are determined to bring forward further measures. I just put the Assembly on notice. We will be bringing forward further measures to improve air quality in London. Th that's all very good news. Can you tell me, um, the, the buses passing through Putney, will they... Not more glue. They will stop heckling me. Yeah. Yeah, be quiet, Mr Biggs. Will your measures... <laughs> you can, why can't we glue him? That's what you should do. <coughs> or even Mr. Duval. I was I guessing some... that the misbehaviour was from John Big. Can I have some time back on this? We've you... stopped the clock. Carry Thank on, Jim. Uh, Mr. Mayor, that's all very good news. Can you tell me if all the buses going through Putney will actually be clean buses? Well, as I said, by, by the summer, 85% um, uh, of them will be up to, to Euro 4. Um, I, I can't give you any further details on that yet. Um, it is our ambition, plainly, to get to, uh, you know, I, I, would like, I would like zero tailpipe buses uh, as, as soon as possible in London. We're, we were discussing this a great deal in, in TfL to see what we, can, what we can do. The issue, as you know, is to do with range and, and range confidence. Um, but we think, we think we can make progress. What, what I can tell you is, is that there will be a substantial improvement uh, in the quality of the in, the, in the cleanness of the buses uh, this year. Is, are the measures that you're introducing in Putney, are they actually going to bring Putney within the EU limits? Is it going to um, make Putney legal? I can't give you that, um, that kind of detail. I mean, what, I, what I can tell you, um, you know, which, which won't, I, I've said many, many times before, is that London does better than many other EU cities. Uh, including Paris, Rome, Barcelona, Athens, um, uh, on, on some of the most injurious um, pollutants. But not on, um, not on NO2, in fact. We're not the worst, on, not on, not on, not on NO2, but and the basically because of the move to, to diesel. Everybody was encouraged to, to move to diesel. Uh, we, we are now looking at trying to reduce the, uh, the diesel consumption of the fleet uh, by, by moving to, as, as I say, uh, to, uh, to have more hybrids, uh, or indeed to try to get zero tailpipe buses altogether. Are you bringing in other emergency measures in other places, as you are in Putney? Are you doing it in other places in London? Uh, yeah, yes, in the sense that the, um, the, the Clean Air Fund, uh, the Air Quality Fund, uh, is there specifically to help uh, boroughs address some of these pollution hotspots. When do you expect London to be within the legal limits? Well, we already are within the legal limits for... Uh, for uh, and, and we've done very well on on PM tens and, but and not, some other pollutants. And, and this question is about nitrogen dioxide pollution. Specifically. Uh, okay. Well, I and I, I, I can't give you a, I can't give you a a time scale now, Jenny. And I'm not going to um, to extemporise one. I will make sure we write to you with with the with the projections. Would you consider some emergency measures if we? I mean, because obviously it's desirable. We, we are facing possible fines from Europe, um, it, it, would you consider emergency measures, for example, road closures? We are, as I said just now, we, we, we are going to be bringing forward other measures to improve air quality. Uh, actually, I, I think that when you look at the totality of what London is doing 
to improve air quality. It is very impressive, and it has certainly impressed the European Commission. Uh, and they, they know the seriousness of, of, our, in, of our intentions. Um, we, of course, we will, we will look at all sorts of, of, of measures to improve air quality. Uh, closing roads, uh, now I'm, I'm not certain is, is necessary. Uh, I would much rather uh, drive forward, use our position as, uh, as a regulator, which we, which we have in TfL, uh, to drive forward the technical improvements that will really sort this problem out. But th this is a problem not only about fines from Europe, but it's also a public health problem because TfL figures were that more than 4,000 Londoners die early deaths every year because of pollution, and a lot of that is attributed to, to diesel fumes, diesel exhaust. Well, so it the, is quite the, important to bring yeah. London within legal limits, isn't it? Yes. I mean, you've got to be clear that the, the PM10s are the, are, the, are the really noxious things. And, on, and, on those, and, and the, 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 no, the NOx doesn't, in fact, have the, the effect that you're, that you're describing. Can the, we, PM, the PM10s are the, are the most pernicious uh, element. And on those, we've had considerable success in But uh, I'm talking in, about in, nitrogen in dioxide. Well, uh, it is important to bring well, London within NOx legal limits. Not associated with the, with the, the fatalities that you. It, that you, it is you, important you to bring London within legal limits, and at the moment, you can't tell me when that will be. You can't give me a year. Well, I can tell you that uh, we are already compliant on PM10s, and I can tell you that as far as NOx goes, uh, 22 out of 27 EU countries are currently facing the same we problems. We are the worst uh, and, in Europe. And on nitrogen what? dioxide pollution. We are, we are, very, we are, we are very far it, from alone. We have 20, 22 it. out of 27 Admit it. EU countries. We are the worst in Europe. I, I will certainly concede that we are better than many other European we cities, in, <laughs> including yeah, Rome, Barcelona, we are the worst in Paris. Europe. Paris. Go and get we a lung full of Paris. Go and stand behind a bus in Paris, Jenny, right. uh, uh, and, and inhale the rich vapours that they allow to to emanate from, from their public transport, and you will pray you were back in London. Thank uh, you. We, we, have, um, we are doing better on, on the, PM, uh, the PM10s, the PM2.5s, which are, which are the, the things that really uh, cause the uh, illnesses that you rightly draw attention to. I mean, I'm, I, I want people to, I do not minimise this problem. 